In this lesson, we're going to look at a way to find that common denominator, the quick common denominator method, and we'll look at just how to do it in general as well. So common denominators, in order to add and subtract, comparing and even dividing, an easier way to do that is if they have the same denominator, and that's when they get into what they call the common denominator. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. The equivalent fraction method. So if I want to name, rename 3 fourths and 1 sixth so they have the same common denominator, I would look at 3 fourths and I would end up multiplying those by 3 fourths times 2 would be right there, 6 eighths. So I go on and on, times 2, times 3, times 4, and so forth. Same thing with 1 sixth. So as I continue to multiply those things, I see that they finally match up here where they have the same denominator. 9 twelfths would be 3 fourths and 1 sixth would be 2 fourths. Now the other method that you could use is just by simply multiplying these things and understanding that with the 4 and the 6, when I find my common multiple, I know that 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and 24 would go. 6, 12, 18, and so forth. I know they both have 12 as a common denominator, so I can simply, instead of going through all of these steps, I say I know they both are 12. They use 24 as their method here, which would be my next one. So 3 fourths times 6, and then times 4, and I get that same common denominator. Um, the least common multiple method, that's where we would use 12, because that's the least common multiple method that we have. So there's another way that you could do that to get 9 twelfths and 2 twelfths. And then the last way is the quick common denominator. And that's where you would take your, say, 3 fourths and 1 sixth, and you would simply multiply those two numbers, your denominators, 6 and 4, is 24. So I know instantly that 3 fourths would equal something with 24, and 1 sixth would equal something with 24. You always would end up having, when this is bigger, you're going to multiply by 4, by 4, by 6, by 6, and there's your last method that you could find a common denominator.